So today we're going to look at sexual reproduction in humans. We're going to look at sexual reproduction in humans. So the process of fertilization in humans involves introduction of the male gametes into the female reproductive system before the sperm can fuse with the ovum to form the zygote. So that means that the male gametes, first of all, they have to be introduced. And uh, to ensure that this happens, humans have humans have developed a special reproductive system. So we need to look at the structures, the structure and the functions of the male reproductive system. So I've already drawn the structure of the male reproductive system. It's made up of different structures. So you need to know each and every function of the part that forms the uh, the structure of the male reproductive system. So from these uh, from these uh, structure, there are different parts. So we're going to look at the functions for each part. So we're going to start with the tests. So the tests are the organs for the production of the male gametes and the male gametes are the sperm. So this means that the test, that's where the male gametes are produced or that's where the sperms are produced. And these tests are a pair. So they are two. And they also produce the hormone called testosterone. So these tests, the tests, they also produce the hormone testosterone which associates the male physical characteristic so that's about the test so in, inside the test we are going to find the seminoverous tubules the seminoverous tubules and the holes of the seminoverous tubules contain cells called the germinal epithelium which is the actual site of sperm production so the actual, actual site of sperm production is the gem, germinal uh, epithelium, which is the actual site of sperm production. And the, these same tubules are num numerous or they are many to increase the surface area for sperm production. So the main reason why the seminoverous tubules are many is to increase the surface area of the sperms. Then... Uh, the tests usually lie outside the body. So as you can see, the tests here, they are outside the body. They are not inside the body. And the main reason why the tests are outside the body is because the sperm production need lower temperature. So outside the body, here, there is lower temperature than inside the body. So the sperm production needs lower temperature. That's the test and the inner structure of the test. Then if we look at the scrotum, the scrotum here, its function is to enclose the test. So this encloses the test or it, its function is to protect the test. Let us look at uh, another part. Let us look at now the epidermis. So the epidermis, as you can see, is this structure here, which is called. So the epidermis, this is the site where the uh, mature sperms are temporarily stored. So after sperms have been produced in the test here, inside the test, and if they mature, they are going to be temporarily stored into the epidermis. And they are long and cold to increase the space for storage of sperms. The main reason they are, why they are long and cold is to increase uh, the space of storage of sperms. Let us look at the sperm duct. So the sperm duct, which is this part, is also referred to as the vas divalens. It is also referred to as the vas divalens. So this helps to 
transfer sperms from the epidermis to the urethra during ejaculation. So this one just uh, the sperm the sperm duct or the vas divalens helps to transfer the sperms to the urethra. As you can see, the urethra is this pipe, so it helps to transfer the sperms. That's the uh, function. Let us look at the the function of uh, the seminal vas uh, the seminal vasico. So this is the seminal vasico here. So this secretes an alkaline fluid containing nutrients like fructose, proteins, and various other chemical substances that contribute to form semen. The fluid nourishes the sperm. So this fluid that is produced by the uh, seminal vasico helps to nourish the sperms. Then let us look at the prostate gland, the function of the prostate gland. So this produces the fruit that contains enzymes and anti acutination functions that contribute the production of the semen. So that's the function of the prostate gland. Then let us look at the function of the corpus gland. The corpus gland is down here. So this is uh, the corpus gland here. And uh, for the corpus gland, this produces a clear secretion before ejaculation takes place. The secretion usually cleans the system before the release of spermatozoa during ejaculation. Secretion of Secretion of the prostate, seminal vesicle, and the corpus gland increases the bulk of semen and also provides nourishment to the spermatozoa. So that's the function of the corpus gland. Let us look at the function of the penis. So the part here is referred to as the penis. So, uh, the penis is an electio intermittent organ used during copulation. So, this is used during uh, copulation. It becomes elect when the male is sexually excited. The tip is usually covered by the foreskin. So, as you can see here, the tip is usually covered by this foreskin. Then the first skin is very sensitive. So the penis introduces the semen into the female body in the vagina. So the function of the penis is to introduce the semen into the female body in the vagina. Then we also have the urethra, this part. So the urethra is used to transport urine and uh, sperm on different times. So this is used to transport urine and sperm on different uh, times. Then we also have uh, the electio tissue. So this helps the penis to be uh, elect and strong. That's the function of the electio tissue. Then, do we have other structures? Who we also have the urina urinary bladder. This stores uh, urine. We also have ureter. The ureter transport the urine from the kidney into the bladder. So those are the parts of uh, the male structure. Where you have questions, you can ask in the group. So at Just Production, we provide the following services. We sell some past papers with answers. 
uh, the past papers that we have, we have 2017, 2018, 2019, and 2020. And these past papers, you can get them at both hard copy and soft copy. For the soft copies, they are only going at 20 kwacha pe paper. So that means if you want paper one for uh, 2020, you just pay a 20 kwacha. And after you pay a 20 kwacha using Airtel or MTN mobile money, they're going to send it on WhatsApp. Then if you want a hard copy, it is free delivery within Mandef constituency or we can deliver in town, we can meet in town, and I can give you that hard copy. Then the other service that we provide are just productions that we provide online tuitions. And for the online tuitions, we provide subjects like physics, chemistry, math, and biology. And the price is only 100 kwacha per subject. And for instance, if you want to be learning mathematics, you just pay 100 kwacha, and you are going to be added to a WhatsApp group. And in those WhatsApp group, we actually post videos on a particular topic. And where you have questions, you can ask in the group. So that's how uh, the online tuitions work. So it's 100 kwacha per month, and that's per subject. Then we also uh, sell some books. We sell books for all the grades from grade 10 to grade 12. And these books uh, include for physics, chemistry, math, and biology. And the price is only 10 kwacha uh, per subject, and that's soft copy. And for the hard copies, it's only 25 kwacha. So for further information, you can call me or text me on the number that, yeah, that is showing on the screen, which is 0973023620. Peace. God bless you. <laughs>